All right, you guys, so it's that time again for a new video, and uh, like I said in my previous videos, I was going to show you all my Japanese reference book collection, and uh, this is all of it. So I think what I'm going to do is, like I did before in my manga videos, I am going to just panel through these, and then um, I'll tell you what everything is, and then I'll just go from there. So let's go, go ahead and get started. Let's start with the top. And then down here on the bottom. And it's a little bit dark today, I apologize. It's uh, a little bit drizzly out right now, so it's not as sunny as I would like it to be, but I'll make do with what I can. So I guess I'll go ahead and start from uh, left to right, and then um, I'll save the top for last. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this book here is the... Kitsune Mura uh, souvenir book. It's uh, all four seasons of um, what it's like at the Kitsune Mura or the Fox Village. And you can get this in their gift shop. I don't remember how much I bought it for, but it was a pretty decent price. I'm pretty sure it was like about $20 US. So it's very reasonable and it's definitely worth it for what you get. You get a whole bunch of pictures of the place and all the different seasons. There's winter, fall, and summer. It's a really nice book. So if you ever make your way over to the Kitsunomura or the Fox Village in Japan, uh, definitely recommend picking this book up. It's very cute. And here's the back. I kind of wish they had the price of it on the back, but they don't. And these books here, I can get them out. So these books here are for those who are like living, if living in Japan or planning on living in Japan. Um, there's a bunch of really nice vocabulary. And this one here is for Japanese food. So they show you the pictures and they show you the, the text in Japanese and romaji. Kind of wish it was in hiragana though, but romaji works as well. And yeah, this is a really well thought out book of all the Japanese food that you might see in Japan. And then this one here, um, well these two here are more like conversational, everyday Japanese kind of books. And it's laid out similarly to uh, the Japanese food book. And here are the prices for these. You can get them at Kinokuniya. They're a little overpriced, but it's worth it for what you can get here, I guess. I bought them at the New York Kinokuniya store. Um, well, most of these books I bought either in Japan or at the New York Kinokuniya store. So these here are Eikaiwa books of Doraemon and uh, Pokemon. So what I like here is like it'll have a sentence in English and it will translate in Japanese up on the top. That's really helpful. And then the Pokemon one is similar. I believe I bought this in Japan. Those are always helpful to look at from time to time. And then next up I have here is a Japanese religion book. It's not really a reference book, it's just a, just a book to learn about Japanese religion. And it's really interesting. I've read through most of it, and I like that it's bilingual. So on the left it's uh, Japanese, and the right is English. Pretty cool. And, um, all the information that they have here is very, very, very interesting to learn about. I bought this at a museum in Japan. I don't remember which museum it was. So next up I have Love, Hate, and Everything in Between. And then I have All About Particles. I guess this is more like for grammar and stuff, Japanese grammar. 
I like that they provide tons and tons of sentence examples so you can learn. Yeah, this is mostly on grammar. So this is really helpful. Up next I have some novels in Japanese. So this one here is about a, a girl and a unicorn. Uh, some magic treehouse. And they're advertising the anime movie of the Magic Tree House, which I watched, and it's pretty good. I liked it. And then here is a Chow Comics novel. And I was able to get this at Kinokuniya for about 15 bucks. And here's another Chow Comics novel. I think this is by the creator of. Uh, Kiraden Revolution. And I have another novel here about a princess. And then I have one more novel. This one's called Bunkara no Daibokin, or Big Adventure. And I haven't read it yet. Uh, my Japanese isn't that great to read all this all the way through, which is kind of a shame because it looks like a really good book. But I have it for when I am ready to be able to read it. Oops. I think this is for more for older readers, like in 6th grade or whatever. I'll get there eventually. So that's all the novels that I have. And here's another uh, point and speak kind of phrase book. Um, it's, it also has a ton of vocabulary and things that you might see in Japan. So it has that and tons of illustrations and this is also very helpful if you want to study some Japanese. Again, you can get this at Kinokuniya. Okay, so I just put all the books back so I can continue to stay organized. Um, as I was saying before, I have all my animal slash insect books, and I have a book about trains. I really like these pocket edition books of these kinds of things. They're really fun to look at. Uh, here's what it looks like inside. So it has a picture of the animal. And then a little bit about it, the name. Of course, you do need to know Japanese to be able to read these, but it's the best way to re read real Japanese, so that's why I bought them. Um, and this book is sort of similar. It's called Haru Natsu Aki Fuyu. Not, it doesn't necessarily pertain to all seasonal things because it does have some things about like trains and. Um, trucks that you might see in Japan. Um, so, not really sure why it's called the Four Seasons, but it's still a, definitely fun to look at. Then up next here I have a book on festivals of Japan. Uh, I bought this at the same place that I got at the uh, religion, the Japanese religion book. Um, it's like Japan in your pocket, as it says there, which is really nice. It is a really small book. Again, I don't remember where I bought this, and they had tons of little books like this. I do wish I could have bought more. But not all the festivals are in this book. As I noticed that they didn't have the Penis Festival in here, but I'm guessing these are more for like family-oriented kind of festivals. So uh, that's probably why they didn't add that one in there, which I guess I can understand. Moving on, I have a Nintendo's guidebook. I've had this book forever. Um, I've had this, I believe, since the game came out. Around that time, anyway. And I like that it comes with stickers, which I haven't used at all, and I don't really intend to. So up next here, I have so, a d collection of Doraemon books, or Doraemon, however you want to pronounce his name. Um, I have one that's uh, English and Japanese dictionary. So they have the word on the top and then they provide samples, sample sentences with the word in Japanese and English, which is nice. And then these three books here are kanji books. 
So this is the Doraemon Kanji book collection that I have. The orange one is for first grade, the green one, I don't really know what color that is, it's more of like a turquoise color, I guess, but it's this one is uh, second, third, and fourth. And then this book here, the 1006, I believe, is for grades 1 through 6. And what I like about this one is uh, it provides the kanji, and then it provides a comic using the kanji and the words that they provide over here that go with the kanji. And yeah, it's really interesting to learn about that kind of stuff. And it's pretty similar in this book here, similar format. And then this one doesn't have any sample sentences, just has simple words, and then, yeah. Both, or all three of these are very helpful, and I've used them quite a bit. So the last of the kanji books, I have a third grade kanji book right here. Um, then these ones here, these are all Nazo Nazo books for, uh, from preschool all the way to like, third grade. And Nazo Nazo are like riddles, like Japanese riddles. So you do have to know a little bit about Japanese culture to be able to understand these and the jokes. So these are the covers of the Nazo Nazo books. And this was the very first Nazo Nazo book that I ever bought. And then um, I decided to uh, purchase other grades because I really liked that one. So I decided to purchase some Yochien. Um, or preschool, and then I bought another first grade, and then I did a little more difficult levels of second and third grade. So, um, some of these actually read from left to right as opposed to right to left. Um, th I believe this is only one that reads from left to right for whatever reason. Um, but here are some sample pages. So this one all has, this one has all hiragana and katakana. And one thing I like that they have in these is that they have furigana over the katakana. Because so, I guess sometimes katakana can be a little bit difficult for uh, preschoolers. And the this one here is another preschool one. It's very similar to this. So here is a first grade nazo nazo. It's pretty similar, only I think it has some kanji in it. Not a whole lot, but uh, just some basic kanji. And this one is pretty similar to the one that I just showed you. So here is the second and third, and then the third grade book. It has some puzzles and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, this one's left to right, too. And then I guess I got this at Book Off for like $4 used. So up next here I have Machigai Sagashi. These books are basically like Find the Difference. And with these, these are all mostly in color, I believe. And I got uh, some girly books uh, of these and each book varies on how many problems are in each one. So like this one here has 135 problems, this one has 80 problems, and then this one has 64. So this one isn't entirely uh, Machigai Sugachi. It ha also has it also has games and uh, nozzle nozzle riddles. So it's just like a pack of different uh, fun and games to do. But yeah, that's that one. And then these here are the, uh, entirely Machigai Sugashi. So um, these are, I guess, uh, targeted towards girls. <laughs> and the artwork is very cute and adorable, as you can see here. So basically, you just find the difference on each page, and then um, it does have like a little story about the picture up here in Japanese, of course. This one definitely has a lot. 
and it has some super cute artwork. I definitely recommend these if uh, you're interested in studying Japanese or if you like find a difference kind of books. These also make really great bathroom books. So that's that. So this book here is a maze book for, uh, well, targeted towards boys. And it, it's a pretty thick book. Got tons of problems in it and fun and games and mazes. and It's definitely a lot of fun and I, I've enjoyed these quite a bit. And I put a plastic cover on this, although it's kind of falling apart, but um, it's definitely keeping my book protected, which is awesome. So that's that one. And then up next here I have a cookbook geared towards uh, girls. And it has 72 recipes, and I marked down the pages that I wanted to eventually make. I've only made one recipe from this book. Pretty unfortunate, but the one that I've made is just so delicious. And uh, I'll provide a photo of what I made as I'm talking here. So that's um, one of the things you can make in this in this book. And I do plan on making this. It was really good. And yeah, those are just some of the things that you can make. And it's a lot of fun, very easy to follow. That provides pictures and a recipe here, and it tells you how long it should take you to make it, which is nice. And I wish I'd got more books from this series, and I think I do plan on buying more when I go to New York. So, this here is just a Pokemon Zukon. And this here is a quick mastery vocabulary. I remember I bought this at Kinokuniya bookstores for 30 bucks. A bit overpriced for something that's only about 15 in Japan. But whatever. What I liked about this is that they provide you with a red cover thing here. As, as you can see here, the words are in red. So it covers up the answers when you have that little sheet over it. Definitely very useful for studying uh, vocabulary. And then I have a do-it-yourself beginner level Japanese grammar. And then up here I have a Doraemon book. This is one of the new ones that I've added to my collection. Just an educational Doraemon book. And then here I have a Oda Cool. I need to get more in this series. It's pretty cool. The Dragon Ball Z animation art book. And then over here are my Japanese kanji study books. So this here is a notebook to write down or practice your kanji. Uh, I have some practicing in the beginning here that I did a long time ago, but I decided to uh, just scan the pages of this and just make my own kanji notebook so I don't have to keep buying those as they get expensive. So this here is a Kumon kanji drill for second grade kanji. This book I've used quite a bit and as you can see here it shows you the stroke order of the kanji which is awesome. And then they give you a test at the end of each lesson. So um this has definitely been very helpful. I strongly recommend the Kumon Kanji workbooks. And this book here is um, a textbook for if you're planning on living in Japan, I guess, or if you want to know the meanings of some of the, the kanji, or if you want to know the uh, furigana of some of these, some of these signs that you might see in Japan. So, like, this is a uh, I guess controller under toilet and it tells you the readings of what they are which is nice. I have some readings of money. So yeah this book is very helpful. And I bought this at Kinokuniya again. And some of these I bought at the thrift store. So here is another kanji practice workbook for beginners. 
And I have another one here. And then this book here is, well this series is Basic Kanji. Uh, the first 500 kanji, I guess, that you'll learn. And this is actually where I was able to pick up on kanji and remember and work on remembering it. Um, now, I believe the, they have upgraded or updated the, the series, so I definitely recommend checking that out. And uh, I took a summer course, in, I think, back in 2009 that was mostly geared towards practicing kanji. So that really helped motivate me to learn more kanji. And I strongly recommend that if you have the funds to do this, to take a class, like either here or in Japan somewhere. Because um, that will definitely help, bo definitely help boost your uh, kanji learning. And uh, I've been slacking a bit on my kanji. So I need to get back into studying that with my Kumon Kanji workbook. So up top here, I have the Furigana Japanese Dictionary and then the Kanji Learner's Dictionary. This was, these two books were recommended by my teacher while I was in college, and I definitely recommend these. I can see why she recommended these, because they're very helpful. So um, up here is the uh, Kana de Manga. This is actually how I learned how to read. Hiragana. I just looked at this book every night for like two weeks or so. And then that's how I learned Hiragana and Katakana. And then this book here is a onomatopoeia book. I'll see a lot of these words in manga. So I have more kanji de manga. I have book one, two, and I don't know what volume that is. I think that's a special edition of something. I have a Moeton Methodology of English book. It's pretty funny reading the English or English in there. There I have another pocket animal book. I bought this when I first went to J Japan in 2009. So here I have another Doraemon educational book about uh, Kabutomushi beetles. And then um, these are some kids books for, uh, about Animal Crossing, the movie. And mostly in Hiragana. And then I have a Himitsu Jiten of Kiraden Revolution. These are just some sample pages. And then last I have some Machigai Sagashi books of Pokemon and Jewel Pet. Okay guys, so that is my entire uh, Japanese reference book collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, if you guys have any other requests for me to make a video about, I would be happy to do so. Um, if you have any requests, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to uh, get that done for you. I know someone said they wanted me to do a room tour video, so that's definitely coming up soon. And then, I guess until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.